Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome to my other desk. This is the one that houses my new Mac Mini and I got an upgrade for it because as you can see I got a bunch of cables and crap. It really only has four usable ports. One is sucked up with a keyboard. I got the old magic mouse here. I had a Bluetooth keyboard but it decided it ain't gonna work anymore. That's the old Apple one like this. Just the Bluetooth one older. It just doesn't work anymore. Tested it on multiple Macs of mine and she's dead. What are you gonna do? I gotta do video editing on this. I pay bills on this. It's my work machine. All sorts of stuff and it edits really well now. Even though these monitors are just a little bit tiny. They're wide but they're tiny. I bought this thing. You can't really see it. It's called the QWiz Lab. It's a docking station, USB hub. It allows you to have uh, NVMe like type 3 and a 2.5 inch SSD, uh, NVMe PCI Gen 3.1 NGFF SATA M2. So what I'm going to do is use a letter opener here. Right, action, an actual letter opener, not the Klingon death blade. Okay, so this is super thin. I thought it was thicker than this. There we go. It's, it's a aluminized looking plastic. This is the front. You get a micro and a 3.5, a USB 3.1 Gen 2 hub, USB 3.1 Gen 2, USB 3, USB 3. It says 5 gig, 5 gig, 10 gig. Now, how does this magic work? On the back, you got your two lightning ports. What you're going to do is plop in USB and uh, up to a 20 watt power supply. But I'm going to plop it in my USB port in the back for power. That way I don't have any extra power. Inside you get the cables, the uh, Thunderbolt 4, and a USB to its Thunderbolt, and some included screws. Your elephants upstairs, that is the kids playing. So we have screws, we even get little felt feet. It shows you how you can connect hard drives to this thing. Now on the bottom here, you have a plate, which conveniently removes with your thumb. Everything is plastic. You can see you have two headers inside, one for a SATA and one for a, a NVMe. Now I have a two terabyte SATA drive right here and I'm just going to stick in here and that's that. It doesn't screw in, it doesn't do nothing. I guess the lid holds it. As far as the uh, NVMe, you have a rubber post. I have an NVMe right here. This is a... Uh, oh crap, I just unplugged that thing. Just a cheap case, you squeeze this, out comes your drive, inside I have a Western Digital Black. That also is going to be going in here. Now, the, the problem with this is there is a notable speed difference when you use these hubs. They are not fast at all. So I'm going to put this back in this case. Back in the case, and we're going to hook it up. Super simple drive. We're going to run the Black Magic speed test. This is just a camera zoom, okay? So apologies in advance. All right, let's first do the internal drive of the Mini. 2.9 on right, 2.8 gigs on uh, read. We're going to select the one terabyte, and we're going to say start. This is plugged directly in to the Thunderbolt 4 port on the back. We're getting about a gig, okay? So this is our before. Now this drive is capable of much more, but for some reason on the M1 Mini, you don't get your speed. Okay, so you get a little rubber post here that's holding the NVMe in, and this is just literally plugged in and hanging there. Uh, I guess this case would hold it. I'm going to put this back in here. For this test, I'm just going to do opposite corners for now, just to hold the plastic in place. So what's going to happen is this. If I choose to have it on the top, I will take a USB into power and a Thunderbolt 4 into Thunderbolt 4. That will make the unit look a little larger and it will have all the ports in the front for additional I need. Now it is a little loose and light on here. That's where these little sticky feet come off. The other view is the bottom way. However, the Mini has that little weird jut that it kind of sits out on. So it's going to like float regardless. How I use this computer is just basically a dump farm. I have a notepad right here, I work here, it's got 
throw everything on your desk just like your desk, you know? It's just a desk, right? Um, I stick everything from my old busted iPhones in here to potion bottles and nails. It's just a, it's a desk. I had a bunch of change that I knocked on the floor. A couple USBs, some 1084 gender converters. My idea is I'm going to put it here. Four rubber feet to keep it from sliding around. Let's see how that works. A lot better. That don't look too bad. Yeah, it's not centered. I don't care. So this two terabyte drive, she's going to get formatted. The reason I wanted these extra drives is because I only have 126 gigs free on my Mac now that I have it uh, set up. So I want to run as much stuff as I can from external. Disk speed test available in the App Store from Black Magic Design. Uh, we're going to test the other one. Gig. About a gig. 900. Now what are we? 700. See, we lost a couple hundred megs just putting it inside. 600 on read. Alright, what about the 2 terabyte? Now I am doing 1 gig stress. Select target drive. We're going to do the 2 terabyte SSD. Now these have a theoretical 550 meg limit because they're SSD. Uh, SATAs, and we're getting about 300 out of a 550 meg limit of a drive. Now that is not a hard drive problem, that is actually a M1 Mac problem. That's the default drive, there we go. So our internal drive is still around 3 gigs. We're good there. That's where I do mainly my processing on. And uh, Great. Is it a deal breaker? Not really. Let's test some uh, stuff. Here's a 32 gig uh, USB card. I'm going to put that in a USB 3.0 socket. And this is a USB 2 card. Just to see how she mounts. We have a center button. There's my Lexar 32. I don't even know what's on it. Oh, a bunch of Amiga stuff. Go figure. Five minutes to copy 2.66 gigs on USB. Five minutes. That's crazy slow. This is USB 3. Now remember, it's kind of hubbing, hubbing things. Because, uh, three minutes. It's doing about 100, if I, I don't, it's, it's crap. But, that's not what it's about. It's just about me having these ports now on the front that I can use. And the NVMe is where I keep my, uh, libraries for iMovie and other stuff to be able to use my machine. I'm going to test a micro SD card. RPI 400 Primega. Let's get a blank one. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> These cards are nothing spectacular and they're not meant to be. Um, I have a Lexar here, 32 gig 633x. I just want to see if it works. Putting it in the little slot, white label here showing you. Click in. And there it is. SD. Nothing on there. Great. Remove it. And then this kind of like clicks out. Now this one's right side up, see? If I want to put a card in like this Lexar, you figure you'd stick it in, right? Well, it goes in really tight, but you got to put it in. There's a little piece of writing right there. It's white on silver, so you know, it's... See how you can barely see the chips facing up. So this one's got to go in this way. And then it click locks, and you get these little lights of activity right here. There it goes. The middle one apparently is whatever and then your card shows up. Is it the fastest interface? No, not at all. The idea is now I have two internal hard drives to this supposed case and since they're running at a lower speed it's still really fast for me for what I'm doing um, but it's not generating the heat because I don't have uh, all that. I'm going to use the second drive here, the 2 terabyte, for a time machine. But it is copying at a decent pace for a time machine volume. And you just let this go. This is the first backup, so it's going to be a full. The rest will be incrementals. And uh, I'm not going to let it back up automatically. 
I manually back my stuff up because I can't stand it running every hour and all that. I don't do that many changes. I'm just glad I have some stuff where I don't have to do these fancy conversions or cables or this or hard drives and I can just have stuff local. And it's all backed up and I'm good to go. So that has been a quick review of the, what brand is this? Quiz Lab UH25 Pro Hub Dude Hard Drive Holder for your Mac Mini M1 or Intel. Doesn't matter. Thank you guys for watching this quick whatever this is. And I hope you'll learn something.